What's going on everyone? Welcome back, Patrick here. Moving on to the next example. So we have to figure out how many permutations of the words below are there. So the word banana, Mississippi. And then number three, we have to redo number two if the four eyes in the word Mississippi, they can't be together. So there's gonna be a condition in number three. So starting with number one, basically all of these here are going to be expressed as multinomial coefficients. That's how you do these types of questions. And the way we set up the multinomial coefficient, the top part is basically going to be the total number of letters that you're working with in the word. So notice in banana, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And then the bottom portion is going to be the frequency of each letter, the number of times each letter is used in the word. So starting with the largest frequency, you don't necessarily have to go in any order here, but notice that the A's have the highest frequency. They're appearing three times. So there would be a three over here. Notice the N's appear twice, and then the B appears once. And then remember that the sum of these should equal the top and that makes sense because basically we have to see the frequency of each letter and account for it here in this bottom row. And so the value of this multinomial coefficient here is basically going to be the number of ways that all of these letters can be arranged. Uh, and when you do this, so this would end up being what? Six factorial over three factorial times two factorial times one factorial. I'm not gonna go through the algebra here. You should be fa uh, fairly familiar how to simplify this, but the answer is going to be 60, right? So there are 60 quote unquote words that can be made when you rearrange the letters in the word banana. Now, number two, same thing, we gotta figure out how many uh, letters we're dealing with first. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. So this would be 11 over here. And then you wanna get the frequency. So we could start with the S's, they're pretty obvious. So we got one, two, three, four. And then notice there are four I's, one, two, three, four. There are two P's, so that would be two, and then there's one N, like that, right? And then notice that these here, they sum up to 11. Now the ones you actually don't necessarily have to put here because one factorial is just going to be, um, it's just going to be one, but uh, I'm just gonna, put it here. I'm going to put all of the frequencies. Just It's a nice way to check as well to make sure the sum of these is equal to the top. So this would end up being 11 factorial over 4 factorial times 4 factorial times 2 factorial times 1 factorial. And this here would end up being 34,650. So that's the total number of permutations that can happen if we rearrange the letters in the word Mississippi. Now, number three has an additional condition. So we have to redo number two, but the condition is that the four I's, they can't be together, right? So they have to be separated. We could have two I's together in the word or maybe three I's, but all four, can't be together. Now there's multiple ways to do this. The easiest way, or the quickest way rather, is to do it indirectly. So what we can do is we can take the total number of cases, which we already have, we got that in number two, and we can subtract the cases with the four I's together. And that there is going to give us the total number of cases where the four I's are all separate, right? If they're together, that's what we don't want. So if we take those cases and subtract them from the total, well then 
the remaining cases is going to be where the four I's aren't together. So the question is, we already know the total is 34,650. So we know this part. The question is, how do we get the total number of cases where the four I's are together? The way you want to do that is you want to put the four I's together. So what, what would happen is I'm going to rewrite this word or the arrangement of these uh, letters and then I'm going to put one, two, three, four. So these are going to be together. And then we have the four S's. These don't have to be together. They can be separated. There's no condition on those. And then we have the two P's like that, right? So still 11 letters that we're working with. But now, since these four I's, they always have to be together, what we can do is we can treat this as it's like one letter, right? It's just one value over here. So we would have an M, we would have this letter, quote unquote, circled. Then we'd have four S's and then two P's. And so if these are always going to be together, wherever they're going to be, if we treat them as one letter, we can now figure out this, the number of cases where they're all together fairly easily. Now, if they are treated as one letter, how many letters are there now in this word, quote unquote? Well, we got one, the M, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're actually working with eight letters now in this new sort of arrangement that we made. And so what this would be, if we use, we're still going to be using the multinomial coefficient. So we're now working with eight letters in total. And then notice there's still four S's. There's two P's. But now there's one M and there's one of this new type of letter where the four I's are together. Right? So hopefully that made sense. It's a little tough to explain. But basically, if we treat, if the four I's are going to be together, then we can treat this as one letter. And so now there's going to be eight letters in total. And then since this is being treated as one, instead of having another four down here, that's going to be, um, we're going to replace that four with a one. And then notice the sum of these is indeed going to equal eight. And so when you do this, you'd end up with 34,650 minus 840. This here, this multinomial coefficient is going to be 840. This, sorry, I'm kind of skipping steps here. Uh, this is 8 factorial over 4 factorial, 2 factorial, and then 1 factorial, 1 factorial. Right? The value of this is going to be 840. And so when you do this, you'd end up with 33,810 different ways. Right? So that's the answer for number 3. So just be on the lookout for these kinds of questions. A lot of times it's easier to do it indirectly. Take the total and subtract the opposite cases that you're going for. Because if we try to do this directly, it would be tougher because we would have to take into account these four I's, they could be here at the beginning, or they could be in between here, or in between here, or at the end. And then we have to take into account rearranging all the other letters. So it would be more hectic. There would be more cases to work with. If we try to do it directly versus doing it indirectly, we get that answer a lot quicker.